Shay accompanies Tyrion to King's Landing and he installs her secretly in the Tower of the Hand. Varys discovers Shay's presence and subtly threatens Tyrion with the information. Shay tells Varys that Tyrion met her when she was employed in his father's kitchens. Shay becomes increasingly fed up at her confinement and Tyrion arranges for her to serve as a handmaiden to the captive Sansa. Sansa comes to trust Shay and confides her hatred of King Joffrey after she is injured and almost raped in the riot of King's Landing, although Shay herself warns her to trust no one. Shay discovers Sansa trying to conceal evidence of her first period, since it means she is ready to bear Joffrey's children. Shay attempts to help her flip the mattress over, even threatening Bernadette into silence when she walks in on them, but they are discovered by the Hound. Shay is bemused when Tyrion rushes in especially tender and protective with her and wanting to exchange words of love, I am yours, and you are mine. Unbeknownst to her queen Cersei has imprisoned and threatened the prostitute Ross mistakenly believing that she is Tyrion's current lover, in revenge for Tyrion's diplomatic use of her D.A. Guta, Marcella, and his arrangements for Joffrey to fight in the thick of battle. Tyrion is overjoyed that Shay is safe, as she has come to be important to him. Shay spends the night before the Battle of the Blackwater in Tyrion's bed. Tyrion tells her that she could flee but she asserts her loyalty to him. When the bells sound the arrival of the attacking force she goes to the throne room with Sansa. She has an awkward public goodbye with Tyrion, who is careful not to acknowledge their relationship. Sansa and Shay take refuge in Mega's Holdfast during the battle, hosted with the women of the court by Cersei. Cersei realizes that Shay is new and questions her origins. She recognizes her lowborn status when she cannot curtsy properly and discerns that she is from Lorath. She asks Shay to explain how she came to be Sansa's handmaiden, but her attention is diverted by news of the battle. When the battle seems lost, Cersei storms out of the room. Shay advises Sansa to bar herself in her chamber to keep her safe should the city be sacked, as Stannis will not hurt her, but Sir Ilan Payne, who guards them, has Cersei's orders to kill her if the city falls. Sansa asks what Shay will do and she says that she has to say goodbye to a friend. Sansa worries for her safety and Shay shows her that she is carrying a concealed blade. Tyrion is betrayed and grievously wounded during the fighting. His defensive tactics buy enough time for reinforcements to arrive and win the battle. Varys brings Shay to see Tyrion, who has been ousted as Hand of the King and stripped of his allies while he has been incapacitated. She unflinchingly assesses his horrific facial scar and chastises him for self-pity. She begs him to go with her to Pentos but he refuses, saying that he is good at, and enjoys, playing politics. She reaffirms her love for him and comforts him.